Hey everyone, so I wanted to show you guys some awesome stuff I got because I am getting massively, massively geared up for Halloween. Now you guys know last year when I did Halloween, I didn't have a ton of supplies. I was really just kind of getting into YouTube, getting the feel of things, and I was basically working with things like Halloween store paints and eyeliners and things like that, which is fine. It was fine to start with. But this year, I want to get my hands on the good stuff. Now, I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to do any gore-type Halloween stuff, any horror stuff, blood cuts, things like that yet. I might. Um, if I do, it will probably be closer to Halloween. But the main thing I was excited to really, really get my hands on was proper face and body paints because I want to do some actual full painted characters. So I decided to go with, um, there's several, several different companies that do high quality body paints. I decided to go with Mayron because I have used their products before. When I lived in California, I was in a lot of plays when I went to high school in there. And we were actually given actual stage theater makeup kits, which no other high school I actually went to. I went to like three, by the way. No other high school I went to in Ohio ever gave us proper makeup kits. They basically gave us nothing and said, you know, use standard basic drugstore makeup, which doesn't do very well under stage lights. But anyway. I don't have it anymore, but I used to have a proper Mayron stage makeup kit, and I loved it. This stuff is amazing. So I decided to go with their face paints. Now, these are water activated. They're solid, and what you do is you spritz them with water, you wet your brush, and then you mix it in, and you have the paint. So I want to show you guys. I got four things. I'm going to be doing a lot of color mixing, so I didn't need like a huge 30 or 100 color palette. But I got a large black paint. This is what it looks like. As you guys can see, that's completely solid. Um, this is a, I believe, a 1.7 ounce size container. It's really big. One of my Halloween inspirations is Alexis Fleming. She's on YouTube as Made You Look. She is an absolutely incredible body painter. She said that these larger Mayron paints will actually do eight head-to-toe full body paints, and that is a ton of paint. So while these run about $12, they're definitely an amazing investment. So I got a black and a white. I figured these are going to be the two that I use the most for mixing. So I wanted them to be really, really big. And I got two Mayron palettes. Now these will probably actually last me at least two, if not more Halloweens. But I got two of them. One is their basic palette. They come like this. You can get them off Mayron.com. I ordered mine off of Amazon because I wanted to make sure that they were here before my Renaissance Fair trip just in case I decided to do face paint for one day of Renaissance Fair. But these are very, very sturdy little things. They have a giant mirror which does not lay all the way back flat so I'm actually going to make it easier to show this to you guys without getting blinded and cover the mirror with post-it notes because that's how I do it but anyway you get a small brush that comes with it and it's a nice brush um you can pretty much use any synthetic brush for doing face paints with and this one comes with white and black which, of course, I already got the big ones of, but came with it anyway. And it comes with mostly primary shades. It has red, yellow, blue, green, orange, and brown. So this is an excellent, excellent base palette. I can make a ton of colors from this one palette. And these are, I believe, each little individual thing is, I want to say, 
0.7 ounces. So it's about a third of the size of this. Don't quote me on that because me and math off the top of my head, not so good. But anyway, I love this so far. This one came in really good condition. It was shipped in a box, so I was very, very happy about that. I'll replay with the red one. You can see the pigmentation and the color and just everything is amazing. These are also supposed to be very, very gentle on your skin, which for me is a huge thing. When I was using the Halloween face paints last year, after I put them on my skin, I broke out in rash. I literally will not buy them anymore because they will rash my skin so badly. It will turn red and flake and it will just panic, like full on panic out. So I will not use those. I also won't use them on my kids. If my kids want their faces painted for Halloween this year, I will be using the May Rob for that as well. I also got their pastel palette, which is so, so pretty. Let me pop some post-its over the mirror as well. By the way, in case you guys can't tell, I'm a bit of an office supply addict. I literally have this huge thing of post-its on my makeup desk because I love them. And here is the pastel palette. This also comes with a brush. This one you might notice looks a little jacked up. Um, a lot of the colors are cracked or bubbled. And the people who I got this from on Amazon packed it in one of the bubble envelopes instead of actually putting it in a box. Now mind you, these are all brand new, of course, they're still in original packaging, etc. And they were all from reputable buyers. It's just everybody on Amazon packages things differently. And I didn't like the fact that they put my makeup in a bubble envelope. Makeup, paints, anything like that needs to go in a box. So they are bubbled and they're not super duper pretty looking because of that, but they're still genuine mirror. Of course, I won't buy anything that wasn't. And they are still completely usable. They just don't look stunning for photographs, if that makes sense. The reason I got a pastels palette was because while you can have the main colors and make a lot of shades out of it, there are a lot of shades that can be difficult to mix and get the right tone to them in face paints. And neons, pastels, things like that tend to be one of those. It can be very hard to get a neon or pastel pink or green or something like that out of your primary colors. This one comes with a super super bright pink which i love it's very very pretty then we have a darker violet tone a teal a light baby blue a super bright lime green this kind of milk chocolatey brown which is really pretty a lighter lilac shade and this darker pink that's like a raspberry tone it's very very pretty so I am super duper excited to get to playing with these and coming up with some looks for you guys. Now, here's where I need your help. I need you guys to start commenting, start getting on me on Facebook, on Twitter, get a hold of me on Instagram, or even down in the comments of this post. I want to know what you guys want to see me do for Halloween. Seriously, as far out there as you guys can think, I will try and do it for you guys. So I am open to any and all ideas. I am crazy excited. I'm going to start filming for Halloween the day I get back from our Renaissance Fair vacation. So right at the beginning of September on is going to be straight Halloween filming. I probably won't start putting the videos up until probably the last week of September. I'm not sure. I might start earlier than that. All depends on how many ideas you guys give me, how many ideas I come up with. So if there's anything you want to see me do or try from basic face painting to stuff for kids, stuff for adults, um, gore, cartoons, favorite movie characters, whatever you guys want to see, let me know down in the comments below and I will try my very best to show you guys how to recreate that look.
So I hope you guys enjoyed getting a quick glance at the beginning of my Halloween face painting collection and kind of an idea of where I'm taking things for this season. And if you have any questions, comments, or just want to say hi, go ahead and do so down in the comments below. And don't forget to give me your suggestions for what you want to see me do this year. If you haven't yet, I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel because we are going to have an awesomely insane Halloween this year. You guys can also keep up with me and what's going on on my website, joannabrooks.net, and on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. I am pretty much everywhere, and all the links for those are down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye!